there are three things you absolutely must know about moving to Spain before you make your plans. Everything depends on these three very important things. What are they? Stick around and you'll find out. Welcome to You Too Spain. Let's dance. <music> Hi, I'm Scats. I've got the information you need. Let's get straight into it. So you're thinking about moving to Spain, which is very exciting, but it can also be quite scary. I know because I've done it and there were lots of problems to overcome along the way and a few failures that I learned quite a lot from. You'll probably have some too, but don't be scared. I don't know anyone that didn't, but let's see if we can minimise yours right now. Everything in your planning will depend on something else. I call that the it depends rule. Number one. The first thing that everything else depends on is the answer to this question. Which passport do you have? If you have a passport, there are three possible answers to the question. If your answer is a passport of an EU country, then you can travel to Spain without needing a visa and register as a resident. You also have the freedom to work here. But if your answer is a passport of a non-EU country, but it's one of the 63 countries whose citizens have a Schengen visa waiver, then you will need to get one of several different visas that are available from the Spanish embassy nearest to you in your country of residence. Which one you choose will depend on whether you want to work there or study there or retire there. Subscribe to YouTube Spain and you'll find videos all about how to get your particular visa. Now, if your answer is, my passport is from a non-EU country whose citizens need a Schengen visa to enter the Schengen area, then you'll need to ask at the local Spanish embassy where you live all about Schengen visas and residency visas for Spain. So that's the first thing you need to know. Here's the second. Number two. What's the financial requirement? What does it cost? Can you afford it? The answer to this is it depends on your answer to number one and whether you're planning to work or not. There's quite a number of possibilities. I've made a lot of videos about them here on YouTube Spain. And the financial requirements are different for each of them. For example, if you're an EU citizen who wants to retire to Spain, you only need to show you have about €7,000 a year worth of savings or pension or a combination of both per person. But if you're a non-EU citizen, you need more than four times that amount. But that's not per person. That's for the main applicant. Then it's about another €7,000 for each additional family member. If you're not going to be retired, then the costs depend on whether you're going to be employed or self-employed. And those two options open up a whole other set of it depends questions. But let's keep this brief and move on to the third thing you need to know. Number three. How do you make the most of the cash you have. Once you've worked out the answers to numbers one and two and you've realised you're going to need to change your money into euros when you move, most of you watching this video will need to. Then you've checked out how much you've got in pounds or dollars or whatever the currency is where you are. The next thing you need to do is to find out the best way to get that cash safely into a Spanish bank account. This is a very common question on the internet and as you might have guessed, Everyone has a different answer because, of course, everyone's an expert on the internet. So why are you any different, Scats? I hear you ask. Well, I'm not. I made a mess of it when we moved. At least I did to begin with. But this did teach me one very valuable lesson, which I'm going to tell you right now. And on the next video I make, I'll explain a lot more about it. But here it is in a nutshell. The golden piece of advice that everyone must agree with is this. Sort out your currency exchange method well in advance, because that gives you loads of time to get a good exchange rate. The rates change all the time, but it's safe to say, even though no one can predict exactly what's going to happen, the exchange rate at some point in the coming year will be higher than it is right now. And also right now, it's changing every second. And there are ways of making sure that when the rate hits the number you're looking for, then that's when the exchange will happen. If you don't want to wait to watch that video I'm going to make, then just trust me, take my recommendation. It's in the video description below. And it's also the first in the comments below. You can't miss it. There you go then. 
Those are the first three things you need to know. What do we need to know next? Well, it depends on you. Leave me a comment below and ask, and I'll point you to the exact video on this channel where you'll find what you need to know. And if there isn't a video, then I'll make one. Thank you for watching. Try one of these videos next. See you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye for now. Let's dance. Thank you.